Good morning, everybody. I'm Miss Bessie Bell Blessing. This is a reading for my air signs. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. All right, now today is August 13th, 2021. This is your reading for today. Aquarius, Libras, and Geminis. Let's see what's going on with y'all. First and foremost, you have the high pieces. The high pieces speaks about you using your intuition in regard to things that are taking place within your life. It also lets me know that um, you're very intuitive and you need to keep some secrets to yourself. Don't tell everybody your business because everybody is not for you. You're definitely in your own energy. I feel as though there's going to be some new beginnings for you. You're not afraid, like I said, to jump out and do something that's going to um, put you on the right path to where you need to be. I do see... Um, you plant seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth here, taking the bull by the horns. Also, you're going to need to stand in your strength and trust and believe in yourself. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo, but some of y'all need to, um, you're going to have to stand in your strength in regard to this devil card. It's in regard to a lover's relationship. Yes, you're very attracted to somebody. Somebody's very attracted to somebody, but this person's going to cause you a lot of heartache and pain here. Because as you can see, this, this is the devil card in this deck, and it's a rose with a lot of thorns on it. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you want, you want to go ahead on and deal with some bullshit like that, go ahead on, but you don't have to. That's why you have to use your intuition in regard to everything that takes place. I feel like you should be working towards your stability. You need a firm foundation, something that you definitely could build from. I also see that you're being very creative here. Look at your creativity. is very high with the Ace of Wands. Go ahead on. You're writing your vision. You're making it plain. And that's what you need to do to bring changes within your world. You're going to be ending some cycles. And there will be some new cycles that definitely will be beginning for you, Air Signs. See, you have the Empress card. You're birthing out some new exciting things. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be pregnant or having a baby or something like that. Um, when you work, they're telling me, when I say they, I'm talking about my spirits. Um, uh, when you work, you're paying close attention to detail. You don't miss out on shit. And I do see a lot of money that's coming toward you here with the Ten of Pentacles. Go ahead on. Congratulations, y'all. The moon card. It could be some lies, deception, and deceit. There could be some things that are hidden, but it also talks about your intuition that's growth, growing by leaps and bounds. I see here um, doors of an opportunity opening up for love as well. Some of you could be dealing with the fairies here. Um, yeah, you need to um, contact your angels, your guides, your ancestors. You should talk to them because they're there to help you, and they will help you to get to where you need to be. I see wish fulfillment here. Anything that you're hoping and wishing for at this time can definitely come to fruition. It's, and a lot of clarity and truth, standing in your clarity and truth, trust and believe in yourself. And definitely being more zen down in regard to some things. Um, the Eight of Swords is somebody, um, you need to make sure that you're getting the proper rest. Um, some of you could be dealing with a lot of things and somebody could um, be not feeling too well. Um, I feel like you need to take in more fluids. They're saying more fluids, take the medicine, and get the rest. Y'all have a lot of things that are definitely wearing on your mind is what I'm seeing, air sign. You, some of y'all could be dealing with the Aries individual, but you're definitely going to be having this take charge kind of spirit about you. Mm-hmm. You could be dealing with the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um... Yeah, saving for a rainy day is what they're saying. <laughs> saving for a rainy day. That's a great thing. That's right. Always stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Um, uh, lots of communication around you coming in towards you as well. Some of you are very guarded, and it's, you're always supposed to guard your heart, your mind, and your soul, no matter what. Being very guarded. It could be a lot of people that could be running their mouth in regard to you, you know, just jealous. But, you know, they could do. They can kiss your ass, right? Shit, they ain't doing shit for you no way. I feel like somebody feels like they left out in the cold. You could have kicked somebody's ass to the cabin. They out in the cold and they're trying to figure out how to get back into your life. But instead, you're definitely just worried, mostly in regard to your, not really worried so much. <clears throat> um, You got a lot of blessings coming in for you here with the nine of pentacles you see the grapes and you see the um money somebody could be opening a vineyard or something like that or making some type of um uh, maybe opening a club or something like clubs you know they make a lot of money grapes is definitely turned into wine so somebody could be selling some wine and shit i mean shit it is what it is right y'all you have the cherry car you're moving um from one place to another you love to hit things head on somebody could definitely be um i'm saying that you're balancing a lot of things out here 
Mm-hmm. I do see some new love on the horizon for you guys. If it's a love of you could be dealing with a Gemini individual. Somebody could definitely be getting married here. And it's going to be a blessed union, too. Also, you have the Ten of Cups. Hi, you know some fulfillment ain't happening. Somebody gonna be in a good loving relationship. Go ahead on, y'all. All right, now y'all have to accept this in. You know, it's a way that you treat yourself. What level are you? You know, what energy are you putting out into the world? That's what you'll get back. Okay, so you love yourself first, and then everything else will be added onto you. All right, you guys. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little brief reading. I am it's best to be a blessing. If you like your own personal reading, please call me at 347-227-5723. Have a truly blessed day. Thank you, guys.